Who was Ibn Taymiyyah? Ibn Taymiyyah was a famous Hanbali theologian who lived in Damascus in the late 1200s and early 1300s. So he was Hanbali. This meant that he was from the smallest law school in the Sunni tradition, the other three law schools being the Shafi'is, the Malikis, and the Hanafis. So the, Han the Hanbalis were in a minority. Ibn Taymiyyah lived in the as I said, Damascus in the late 1200s, the early 1300s, this was a time that was very volatile in that part of the world. This is because the Crusaders had just been there for a while. They were about to be driven out, and the Mongols were coming in from the east, and they invaded, of course, uh, what is today Iraq, and they crushed Baghdad in 1258, and then they threatened Syria as well. And Ibn Taymiyyah is famous today because um, he resisted the Mongols by calling for the people of Damascus to go out and fight them. And the Mongols had created a problem, though. They had converted to Islam. And this raised the question, should the people of Damascus, as Muslims as well, fight fellow Muslims? And Ibn Taymiyyah says, yes, you should fight. And he painted the Mongols to be bad Muslims in order to justify this. And this has been used by Islamic militants today to justify their own resistance to their own rulers. Ibn Taymiyyah is much more important, you might say, however, because he was a reformist. And what he wanted to do was to take the Islamic religion back to the Quran and the practice of the Prophet Muhammad called the Sunnah, and especially the practice of the Salaf. Those are the early Muslims, because he believed that the Muslim tradition had gone astray. There were lots of theological currents, there were lots of legal currents that had gone off course, you might say. And he wanted to bring it back. He wanted to reform the Islamic tradition and take it back to the practice and the belief of the Salaf. And this also has become extremely important, in fact, probably more important, for uh, modern Muslims who take in Bitaimiyah as an inspiration for reforming their own tradition. And he's thus had appeal for a wide range of Muslims in the uh, modern period uh, across a wide range of, of perspectives.